Hi, my name is Mass, and here's a guide on how to use streaming in WISE. If you're following the certification, you have been asked to change the blacksmith dialog to being streamed. Select the blacksmith dialog line Q4B01 in the sound property editor. The stream functionality is not enabled. What it essentially does is read the file from the disk instead of from memory. Streaming is super good for things like dialog, since in many cases the dialog is only played once. So let's now set the blacksmith dialog line to stream. Now notice that the non-casual option is already selected. This will inform WISE that when the audio source is done playing, it won't have to save any cache in the memory. In the WISE Avenger game, you can jump back and forth from quest to quest. So in principle, you can hear the same dialogue line several times, but in most cases, you'll probably only play it once. So let the non-casual option stay selected. Now head into the sound bank and generate the sound banks. Now when an audio source is being streamed, it is not saved in the sound bank, but instead it's saved as a .vim file. So if you look in the generate sound banks folder, you'll see that we have a Mac folder and a Windows folder and the wise IDs. And if you go into Windows, you'll see a lot of Vim files along with the sound banks themselves. These Vim files are the streamed files. When using streaming, try not to set reoccurring audio files to stream. And be aware that as you don't have an audio file in memory, it won't be as quick to fetch it and hereby probably inducing latency. However, with WISE you can enable zero latency. You can find this option in the stream group box. Zero latency means that the initial part of the audio source will be saved in memory. So when an audio source is triggered, it will trigger the audio source in memory, meanwhile streaming the rest of the audio file from disk. If you are following the certification or want to learn more about WISE Adventure Game, you can click on the signpost.